Hockey is a very beloved and dangerous game, mostly because of this, the rubber puck. Introduced in Montreal in the 1880s, it has since been responsible for the knockout of many teeth and even players. However, people have turned this into an art form. Like many things, they have actually begun carving into them. And with these carvings, they're so small and intricate. However, that doesn't matter today. This is a resin puck. It's a remnant of resin that remained in the bottom of my cup before I could use it. So what you can actually do with these is you can actually save them and carve them. I have sanded the bottom of this one so it's all nice and smooth and there's no paper stuck to it since as you can see here I do use paper cups. So last week I left you guys with a bit of a teaser for what we'd be doing this week. A bit more familiar to some of us who may have grown up watching Nickelodeon. So that was a lie. Now this week we were going to make Katara's necklace from Avatar The Last Airbender but it didn't really work out as planned. The carving part. That part went absolutely fine. It's the hardware that failed, so we're gonna push that project aside for another day. Now, I did make a backup resin puck, and it looks a lot like ice to me, so I thought it'd be cool if I put a hockey design on it. So I decided to go with a fan favorite Arizona Coyotes Kachina design. Now, in order to begin uh, plotting out the design, I first traced around the resin puck. After that, I took a photo of it, and I zoomed it into full size. So after I printed that out, I did a double check to see if they were the right size, and they were. After that, I actually went and found a picture of a, the whole Kachina design, and then I fitted it onto that puck. I can see through it. This just got so much easier. So my little sister happens to be a hockey fan, so much so that when we got our sister tattoos, I actually designed her tattoo off of it, the Coyotes Kachina design. Now this Kachina design was used when the Coyotes arrived in 1996. They wore their dark green jerseys for away games and their white jerseys for home games. Now unfortunately the design was retired in 2003, however they are bringing them back for the 2020 season. Now we're going to transfer the image to the resin puck. So you're going to get your design, you're going to place your resin puck on top, and you're going to get to tracing it. Or debate if you really want to trace something that size, and then just chicken out and decide to go with the larger design instead. After that, you're going to just use your Sharpie and trace around it. Then when it comes to actually carving it out, you're going to go through the larger designs and decide which parts of it you want to do first. Those parts you're going to scratch out. If they have individual little details on them, you're going to save those for later. Now, carve out the large bits using a Dremel. I... I could have lost my thumb. I could have lost my thumb right there. I could have lost my thumb. If that had been a cutting wheel, I would have gone right through my thumb. Be careful using a Dremel, especially with gloves, everyone. Now, despite that experience, I actually did go ahead and just continue to carve out the larger areas of the disc and then I refine the edges with a smaller bit. After that, I took it to the sink and using an old toothbrush, I scrubbed out all the dust out of there. Now there are still some bits that do contain some dust because I couldn't get in there. But if you ever have an old toothbrush, I recommend you keep it because you can keep it for crafting purposes like this. Now we get to our first layers of resin. So for our first layers, I used like a deep russet Pearl effects for the jersey and then I used a white for the uh, white white half of the mask that the coyote wears and uh, that all go went pretty well pretty smoothly some of it did dip down a bit but that's all right because later on we will level it out 
Now, the resin is supposed to just act as a base here. Later, we'll add the details. Now, go back and carve out the large areas again. This time, do the ones that you haven't filled in with resin yet. And you're going to be moving on to the next color. So, after that, repeat cleaning it with a toothbrush, fill it with resin again, and then repeat again with the little details. You have all your resin done, then you're going to take a little sandpaper wheel on your Dremel and you're going to just flatten the top of it. I did have a few dips in my resin levels, so that's why I had to kind of um, level it out more. After you're done leveling it out, it should all be kind of a matte, and then you're going to take it back to the sink, clean it up with the toothbrush again, just to get all that dust out, because now we're going to move on to the final layer of resin. Or, if you don't want to do any of this carving, or if you want the colors to be changed a bit and you want finer details, you can do what I did. Yeah. Editing me here. Uh, my little sister just instructed that I look after the pupper. I meant to say in this video is if you're hearing an odd noise, it's probably the dog in the background and still is. Going back to what I was saying, if you don't want to carve it, you can paint it. Using a, a mixture of lacquer and mica powder, you can use a dotting tool and go over it and add smaller details or you can just paint the entire thing on there. I recommend using a dotting tool because brushes tend to splay out a bit and they can get little streaks in places where you don't want them to. So I find it easier just to use a dotting tool on smaller items, for example, the resin pucks and details. After all that's done, you're going to add the final layer of resin and then congratulations, it's done. You finished it. I think it's really cool that when you kind of look at it from different angles, you can see where I carved it in. So that's part of the reason why I did part of the carving. And that's really all it takes to uh, do, do this for a resin puck. Dude, Mary Spooky Giving. Spooky. <laughs> <laughs> I made you, I made you a, um, what's it called? Table hockey? Is that what it's called? Air hockey? Yeah, air hockey. I made you an air hockey puck. Table hockey. <laughs> Go get your air hockey so we can test it out. I don't know. Thank you. Bruh. Today I taught you how to take inspiration from what is possibly one of the most dangerous sports and use it to turn trash into treasure. So, I hope you'll join me next time when we do whatever it is we're doing. I'm Mary Oway Lurky 23. I hope today you've learned a new fact or a new technique or two. And this has been Resin Pucks. Hey, so thanks for watching my video. Once again, I do appreciate any kind of criticism. So, leave it down in the comments below. Anyways, I'd like to thank everyone who supported me on my last video. So, thanks for watching.